Here today on Four Letter Nerds, the word is stab, and we are talking about slasher movies. And what defines a slasher movie is kind of what I want to talk about in the beginning, guys. I know we've all, I know we've all seen Friday the 13th, and Halloween, and Psycho, and some of these titles are going to be coming up later because we have visual aids for everyone to see out there. Regular TV aids. land. Regular <laughs> aids. Visual aids. <laughs> so, <laughs> the classic being Psycho. Mm -hmm. talk about movies that we hate. Fuck yes. All the, Fuck yeah! All the slasher movies, we all know that there are more than 50% of them, probably more than like 80% of them, are crap. Just look you at know. the star ratings on Netflix. Of exactly. Places. Friday the 13th, Boo. I think sucks. It does. But also, they're terrible. They don't build any tension. They have random killings, but... Just don't make any sense. I just don't okay. I, I, I make it. It's perfect sense. I disagree <laughs> with you. Maybe if I had never seen another slasher movie before and never heard anything about Friday the 13th and saw the first one, I'd probably still hate most of the movie. But the ending, when the girl... Spoiler alert. I was going to say, did you already know the ending before you saw it? Yeah. Oh, well then fucking, you have no opinion. At least when I watched it, it was probably because I already knew it. But it seemed pretty obvious that that was the case. I think Lauren agrees with me that, I mean, this is such a staple, famous slasher movie, and the gore effects by Tom Savini were genius at that time. They were really, really good. I mean, all of the murders there. So apparently this movie <laughs> was made because they made a movie poster of it and a bunch of people wanted to see it, and then they wrote a script for it and made it, which totally makes sense because the movie's complete garbage. That's weird. What did the poster have on it? Yes, <laughs> just the, the title. The acting's terrible. The script is terrible. Yes, exactly. I do <laughs> like. I do like its gore effects. I know, and it, it was a staple picture that got copied many, 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 many times. It gets pops for its place in history, but, but sorry. I don't know. You you're can, allowed to hate it. You're allowed to have an opinion. But, but that's sucks. also like saying a Birth of a Nation is a great movie because of its place in film history, which I don't think it is. Well, it's garbage and racist. Friday the Thirteenth is racist. I hate pretty much every single. <laughs> I pretty much hate every single Saw movie. Like, after, I can appreciate the first one, like, grudgingly, because it was really, like, unique. Basically, yeah, numbers, like numbers, numbers two on, I fucking hate. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, I'll teach him everything that I know. I want to play a game. Yeah, they're really just all garbage all of the time. They torture are, porn. like, really, yeah, just right. pure right. torture porn. <laughs> give the hostel movies more props than I can give to Saw because ah! I don't know, like, I'd fuck you like Roth, but... He's got um, a pretty hairdo. <laughs> Bear do with a hairdo. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. I really like one and three, and the rest can... Sorry, my experience with them is slightly tampered because I think either three or four when I was in theaters, uh, there were, like, two different groups of people in the theater who had, like, kids with them under the age of three who were, like, burying their faces That's in the popcorn terrible. the whole time, and I was just like, I will watch the Saw movie with these people in it dying. But the kids don't No, the people they're... who brought the Why kids, kids just eating popcorn. popcorn. Why was such just, a terrible I was just person. already okay. not enjoying it that, you know, kids make everything worse. My <laughs> hatred stems from the Chucky franchise, but I'll only just do number one, because... Whoa, she's right <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, just me. <laughs> the physics makes no sense. Evil has no weight in the scientific world. So like, people are fighting off this stupid okay. idiot doll, yeah. and it's just like, <laughs> just throw it. shots of them going like, no, no. And then he like, somehow gets back up, and it's just like, just a stupid idiot murderer who got like, put, yeah exactly, <laughs> throw him in a fire, I'm sure they did that one. Like said, talk to me, damn it, or else I'm gonna throw you in the fire! You stupid bitch, you filthy slut! Did you fuck with me? Evil trumps science every day. At home, I own just shy of 300 slasher movies, and hands down, the two worst movies that I own is a silly little movie called Pieces, which was copying uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Anyone out there has ever seen this piece of crap, just, you have to watch it and fast forward. It's so bad. <laughs> Another 
Yeah. Is naked mom. Another <laughs> is the most unintentionally funny you mean, slasher like, movie you'll, you'll ever see. It's called Don't Go in the Woods. Which That's is alone. 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 They added that <laughs> on the TV. Don't Go in the Woods alone. In the 80s, it was called Don't Go in the Woods. Okay, okay. And it's taking all the staple 80s terrible characters, white trash people, overweight, nasty people out in the woods, wow. and uh, <laughs> Ronald Reagan, disco bunnies, you name it. All these people are out in the woods that have no connection whatsoever, and this killer is just roaming around, hunting down people that are only like in these one scenes, just getting butchered off and murdered. It has to be seen to be believed of how terrible it is. Huh? <laughs> Mother!